Hello and welcome to Nature Tastic with Henry. Today I'm here at Paxton Pitch to do a frogs, newts and toad session and I'm going to do my practice here and then I'm going to go home and do it myself. Let's hop to it! I had great fun at this event and I made a ball garden, went corn dipping and did a fab amphibian quiz but this video is all about a hibernaculum. So, what is a hibernaculum? A hibernaculum is a place for something to hibernate, like in Canada, a place for a bear to hibernate, but in our case, newts. We've got loads of them. So, hope they hope hibernate in our hibernaculum. Hopefully this newt and his amphibian buddies will find a nice place to hibernate this winter. Here we're going to make a hibernaculum. This is going to be our practice. So first you put two pipes into the hole so then they have access and then you're going to cover them in logs, stones and twigs. So we're imagining this is in a deep hole where amphibians can get down and hibernate. Let's just do the finishing touches. Ta da! Here's my hibernaculum. Let's go home and build one. Now to do it for real. So, I'm back home ready to build my hibernaculum. And we've got the key things here some entrance pipes, we've got a mixture of bricks, tiles, and logs. So, I'm going to dig it over there. Dad! Dad! Can you come and dig it for me? You need to dig a hole about 40 centimetres deep and it needs to be in a dry spot where it will not flood. First, I'm going to pop in my entrance holes and then I'm going to pop in everything else around it to make hibernation chambers like air pockets and then I'm going to pop in some of these bits of soil to like kind of like build it up and then my hibernaculum should be finished. Let's get to it. The chambers are where the amphibians are going to hibernate and underground it's a lot warmer than upper ground in the winter. yourself but I just got my dad to do it each time much easier thanks dad so all the stories in now it's time to scatter some seeds this patch of bare earth is a good time to get in some more wildflower seeds there 